Okay, so uh, so this mask is an FFP3 mask with a filter, uh, but it doesn't fit me properly. I failed the fit test. So what I'm going to do is to put the Tegaderm on and show you how to do that uh, so that it then passes the fit test because I've passed the fit test with this. So we need a mirror. So, because uh, otherwise you, have to, you can't see what you're doing. I'm going to take my glasses off. I've cut a Tegaderm into pieces. So each Tegaderm is cut into three. And then I'm going to take each one peeled off if your skin is very sensitive, this is not going to be good uh, because mine is already peeling a bit. So I can see in the mirror that I've placed it and actually made sure it's stuck on the, on the nose and taken it round the corner. And then we can try and peel off the sticky without taking the tegaderm off again. And it's important to take this piece of paper off to ensure that the seal with the tegaderm is as good as it can be. It also stops your glasses fogging up. Otherwise, when you put the goggles on, I'm completely misted, I can't see a thing. So the top seal is stopping your glasses fogging. You can see it actually becomes quite difficult to peel the paper off, it doesn't want to come off. But it's better to spend another minute or so doing this than risk getting infected or your goggles fogging up because really then you cannot do an angioplasty, you can't see a thing. So that's the top end sealed up, but to make sure that I would pass a fit test, then I'm going to take the bottom end and tape it up as well. So it requires about a tegaderm and a half. So again, I'm sealing up the all the way round, then taking the paper off, that is already taking the, the cover off. It becomes rather difficult, but you can see the paper is beginning to come off. Okay, so we'll place another one, hopefully the last one, and then we can get our leads on. So I've got to make sure I cover the join and cover my chin. and then try and take it off while leaving the tegaderm behind. That's that, there's a little gap in the bottom. And so the last one will cover that little gap. Okay, so now I've got an airtight seal. And so I can now put my goggles on. Okay, uh, probably what I'm gonna do is put my uh, surgical cap on first, then the goggles, then the visor, then my lead and then scrub. Okay, so it's a bit sticky to pe peel off and your skin is going to be affected. So peel off very gently with a new pair of gloves at the end when you're going to take your mask off. I did just take my mask off and rip it off my face. That wasn't a good idea. I don't recommend it. Thanks.